Imagine that uh, I'm a selfish jerk and that you're a selfish jerk and that everybody around you, that the world is full of selfish jerks. And ask the question, well, what does the world look like when it's full of selfish jerks? Is that a disaster scenario like Afghanistan? Uh, or could a world full of selfish jerks actually look like, uh, like the rich world, like the United States, uh, like Europe? That question is at the heart of microeconomics which studies the actions and interactions of optimizing individuals. So the interesting question in microeconomics is, what does the world look like when it's full of individuals who are each looking out for number one? They're each looking out for themselves and not necessarily paying a lot of attention to the larger picture, right? Does it look like a disaster? Does it look okay? If we think about traffic congestion, if we think about pollution, if we think about overfishing, those are all cases where individual self-interest leads to outcomes that are bad for the group as a whole. Fortunately, that's not the whole story in economics, though there's also a much more optimistic view, which is that sometimes individual self-interest can lead to good outcomes for the group as a whole. This is what Adam Smith famously referred to as the invisible hand, that individuals and businesses are led as if by an invisible hand to create an end that was no part of their intention. They just want to maximize profits, they want to do what's best for themselves as individuals, and they end up doing things that are good for society as a whole. The study of microeconomics is being like cooking uh, like, a, like a soup, right? So you have a, a, a pot and you put in sort of one person, and then you stir the soup a little bit to see how that person behaves, how do they deal with uncertainty, how do they make decisions, how do they deal with risk. And then you add another person to the pot and you see how they interact with each other. And uh, this is sometimes called game theory. For example, if I'm negotiating uh, with, uh, uh, with a group of people here and they don't necessarily, tal vez ustedes no saben que más o menos puedo entender español, entonces tal vez yo voy a tener la ventaja. So uh, information is important. And in particular, I study how we can use the tools of economics and the power of capitalism to protect the environment. And in particular, the idea that I work on is that we could reform our tax system in a way that imposes higher taxes on things we want less of, like carbon emissions, and lower taxes on things we want more of, like jobs and investment. So we're not gonna increase the size of government overall, we're just gonna swap or change the way that the tax system works to encourage behaviors that benefit the uh, society as a whole, like lowering carbon emissions and creating jobs. So those are the sorts of topics that microeconomists think about. It's a uh, fascinating uh, field of study and I hope that you enjoy the cartoon book.